Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to play Sky, the new agent of uh, Valorant, on the new map icebox, and I'm gonna teach you some important stuff that you may actually not know, and how I, I would use this champion at the moment. First of all, she has a heal that heals in a big area. This area, as you can see in the map, it's the blue one. It's kind of big, okay? But don't get mistaken. If your teammates are not in your point of view, you will not be able to kill them through walls. So you need to make sure that your teammates are in your point of view so you can actually heal them. If your teammate is behind this wall and you're healing like this, he's not gonna get healed because you don't see him. So it's not as strong as it looks like. It's good for post plants because you went in and you had the initial fights. And that, that means that you have a time to prepare for the post plant situation. And you can actually heal your, your teammates that get got damaged going in. Uh, you can heal your teammates if you, you get raisinated or s some kind of AOE, AOE damage. And like I said, they have to be in your point of view. You can actually kill your enemies as well. So make sure that the enemies are not in your point of view or you will be healing them as well. The Q, Tasmanian Tiger. He's really interesting. You don't have a lot of uh, range in terms of vision, and uh, it's it's not a long. You cannot use him for a long time, so you need to really make sure that you know what you're doing with him and uh, what kind of information you want to gather. For example, you're defending A and you want to know if they're coming A, so your teammates can play around it better. You can use you can use this to the right side. If they shoot it, you know where they are, and before it explodes, you can also jump forward so you have more reach. This uh, tiger is meant to take information and also stuns and, th and does 30 damage. So if you actually hit someone when you're jumping with the left click, you will hit him for 30 damage and you will actually stun like a breach stun. So you can you also have to aim properly at the same time as you're moving. Uh, it's an easy, it's really intuitive and really easy to, to master, to be honest. You can only jump a little bit and move forward, so it, it's really, really easy to master. If someone flanks you and you're inside the tiger body, you're actually a free kill. Look, she's not, she's not seeing anything. <laughs> now we go into the flashbangs. For me, the best ability in Sky. Sky has three birds that flash and you can actually move them like a, a jet like a jet um, smoke. The only bad thing is that if you want to move it, you cannot actually shoot. Look at her hands. So you need to play her in a passive way. You can't move forward with your gun out and then flash. Two things. If you want to do something aggressive by yourself, you can throw it and then don't move it. You can throw it like this. You don't move it. You stop pressing, and you can actually shoot. As you could see, when you have to explode the bird to do the blinding uh, animation, she closes her hand, so you're not able to shoot. Same as the heal, you can't shoot. Same as this, same as this. All her abilities, except the ult, make you really vulnerable when you're actually casting them. So you, may, you need to make sure that you're in a safe spot when you're using it. Um, the ult is really good. It's a three flowers chase your enemy, chase the enemy team, and they split into the enemies. So if you don't know where the enemy is, you can use this as a source of information. If the flowers reach the enemy, they get the omen blinded. They get paranoid. They lose the ability to see long range. The same as an omen flash. The birds the tiger and the ult can be broken if they shoot at those. It gives you enough information about the enemies and you can actually do a plan before they come in, which is uh, why I think this champion is really viable. You gain information with three out of the four abilities. And not only that, when you blind someone, Sky actually says blinded. She says blinded. So you know that someone got blinded. You know that someone is close to where you flashed. And you can actually do a map in your head of where, which angle could he be, in which timing, and uh, if you mix both, you can actually know where the enemies are. For example, if the round started and you flash like this, and you blind someone, you know that someone is holding this area. You know this. You, 
worry you need to worry about them crossing here or if you want to rotate one guy could be on top of this box waiting for you or some kind of setup you could be here you need to yeah you need to take care and that's a really strong ability on 2v2s and stuff because you also know where the enemy will push where the enemy is hiding if you're attacking if, if he gets blinded you know where he is without be without having to show yourself and you can play around the information much better um, i think she's an agent that is really passive so you need to make sure that you're consistent i recommend you to do spider shot and then multi shot maybe and then grid shot if you want cognition you can do decision shot if you want perception you can do detection aim lab is a really good task to make you be more stable and not miss when you have to miss and since sky is a really passive agent just mix everything and be a really good uh, player that can trade your teammates and help them yeah just go and explore aim lab i think uh, it's gonna help you a lot so thank you so much for watching and see you into the next video bye